I'm going to demonstrate how to self-administer an HIV test and to show how easy it is and effective. So, this HIV test consists of this that will give you your results. There are two eyedroppers, and there's an antiseptic towel, and a thing for pricking your finger to get two drops of blood, which is the, the worst part of this whole thing. First thing is I will take this protective piece off so that the needle is exposed. You don't see any needle, you won't see any after the test, it's going to uh, spring out and go right back in. So there's not even a um, um, needles to be concerned about. Now this is the worst part. It's pricking my finger. Ah, but it's really not that bad. I'm just more of a wimp. And then you get a little bit of blood like that. And you take your eyedropper And you put two drops of blood I'm going to get just a little more just to make sure right in this little circle like that And then what you do is you cut off the end of this other eyedropper. And this is the serum that will go into here. And then you just wait for the results. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to soak in. And uh, the way it's going to work is one line will be it's non-reactive meaning negative two lines will mean it's positive and um, here's some facts about these tests these tests are actually not FDA approved they're manufactured in Africa in South Africa they are sold through London um, it's the same technology that is used in this country for um, mobile testing clinics uh, the FDA is currently exploring approval for these tests so that people can do this at home. Um, and there's a number of uh, concerns about this. One is that uh, people may not do it accurately uh, and that um, people may not handle the news well. The fact is that neither of those are substantiated by research. And um, there's many scenarios where people would want to do this. Uh, repeat testers, um, people who just maybe um, are in, in cultural environments where it's the stigma around testing is still pretty strong and it's hard to go to even a clinic or a medical doctor and ask for a test without judgment. Um, pregnant women who get, or women who buy at home pregnancy tests, uh, we could market these with them. Um, other concerns are if there's false positives or false negatives, uh, people wouldn't be adequately informed. Uh, certainly we can add education information and even do things like uh, videos to educate people about this. Um, and we can also, these could be sold in pairs so that people have two sets of tests that they can check for um, uh, if they get uh, one that result that they're not happy with, they can do a retest automatically and get a second one. So um, at this point, we're just waiting for the results, which it shouldn't take more than a few minutes to get the results. Um, bottom line is that this is a very um, easy technology, uh, and yet it's a political football. Um, the test itself, uh, with shipping, costs $12. Um, 
when you go to a clinic, the average cost to administer tests when you add in your, all your overhead and everything is more like 60 to $70. So during these hard economic times, this would be the kind of thing that um, could greatly cut down on the financial demands. Um, it's not for everybody, and there is a concern about the counseling that needs to go with it. Uh, I think that we have the technology and the social networks out there that we can handle a lot of the concerns and um, just get this done. Um, you know, as state health departments are looking to cut pretty much all their programs at this point, this is one thing that communities can pick up and, and just run with if we choose to do so. So, um, now one of the things is that I am HIV positive, so I'm actually looking for two red lines to emerge. Um, generally, you give this test about 10 minutes uh, just to be sure, but if, if you want to pull the camera in closely, you can see that there are two lines starting to emerge. Um, just to confirm that yes, I am, uh, I am at least reactive to HIV, meaning I'm, I have the antibodies present, uh, which is what we're looking for in this case. Um, Another interesting uh, thing about this is the ability to do this by oneself is also quite empowering. Uh, I think that um, AIDS organizations have done a very good job of, of having us believe that we need them to do things for us. And uh, the first time that I was able to do this on my own last year uh, was quite an empowering experience. And so I think that we um, are hoping to have a lot of people know about this test, that the technology is available, that the FDA is considering approving it. Uh, their concerns are all speculative, um, and I maintain it's much better to have an informed population that can do this if they want, rather than to tell people who want to do this that you can't do it. Uh, it's a technology that's readily available. Um, I think that we need to demand that things that are available and harmless to us physically uh, be available. Um, so that's it. I guess we'll just end with if you want to come in again and just to get another closer look at how it's coming out. So I um, invite you to come to our website, mosaicinitiative.org or williampenthouse.org. Uh, Search some of the information about HIV tests and get involved and let's get, get this out there.